Hi friends, welcome to another third days of paper um, napkins. I'm doing cardboard and paper napkins today. And I found this tube, I think it was holding like a large um, uh, paper clips from the dollar store. So it was, you know when you buy containers with paper clips and different things like that in them from the dollar store or wherever. And I saved the tubes. Well, I decided to make a cardboard holder for this tube and turn it into a vase. Um, type of thing. So I decided on my pattern, there it is, it's kind of um, candle holder-ish look and I like that look and I decided to do that. So what I did was copy my pattern. I have um, made, cut the most out of the cardstock and then I um, made it able to um, uh, have the slits in there so then I can kind of put them into each other to slot them, slot them together and I realized I made one of my slots too uh, too too something too tall or something so I had to put some masking tape over where I made my mistake but I fixed that up put some masking tape right there made it perfect now I have my perfect pattern that I need with my for my cardboard so what I did was I grabbed some cardboard I drew out that pattern and um, cut it out with a, a knife. I changed my blades. It was nice and sharp and easy to um, cut out. So that's that. Nice fresh blade. Made it really easy. I put my um, self adhesive uh, um, little mat, the one that I have for my table, easy to move back there and cut that out. And um, I have several d tubes like this and different sizes, so you know you could just make something like that um, with your own design on it, um, your own mixed media process, and uh, use up those tubes for something a little different. So that's what I, I did. Thought it'd be cute to make my own vase. So here I am working on my second side. Really thought this was a fun project. I speed this up quite a bit, but it's not like a hard project to follow, so I thought it'd be fine. So what I did is next, there I made sure everything fit nicely, made it a little bit bigger on one of the sides just to make sure that my little tube fit in there perfectly, and um, just rounded it off at the bottom. I think I just kind of didn't round it off enough. So now I just sewed them. I did both sides and along the edges just to make sure the paper napkin was covered um, that covered it. Didn't have any brown peeking through. Dried them off, that kind of thing. Did both sides. I did two layers. And uh, there we go. Pretty nice. I like it. I was happy with it. Using different heat tool and the other one just totally burnt out after like five years of crafting. <laughs> so then I just use I'm painting my edges and that's what I did. Put my second layer on and then I chose my paper napkin next. So I decided on this nice floral pattern. I just put my scissors in there, split it up. Then I chose. Oh, and then what I did was I just put much or decoupage. I did one side already. I forgot I didn't record it, but I just put it all to the one side and on the edge on one side, like a little bit there, so it would get in there. Oh, this is actually the part where I did the one side already, and then I'm just ed doing the edge. I left a, a little bit of a border all the way around, like a sewing allowance, but I left a little bit of a gluing allowance to go around the cardboard. And then I do the same thing on the other side, and then there's no edging that I have to worry about. So here I'm showing you, I'm cutting it. I totally didn't turn it on when I was doing it, but I'm doing the other side so you guys will see that. So I just leave a bit of a gluing edge, as you can see here, and then I just glue that um, to the edge. And I do that on both sides. I leave a little less when I do the other side because I don't need so much. And that's what I'm doing. And there's that. 
Now that's all it is just putting on the edges and pushing it down. There's a good view of it. And then that doesn't it takes care of my edge and I don't have to worry about it at all. And there's that one side done. So I'll show you the other side really well. There I go. I put the Mod Podge all, all over it or the decoupage. And then I um, and put my napkin right on top. And then I just put it down, dry it off. After I dry it, I um, do the same thing. Here, I'll just show you here. I'm, dry I'm painting it on the, and just to make it nice. And then I dry it off with my heat tool. And then I'm able to cut with the scissors, so that's why I'm doing that instead of leaving it. And then I'm cutting with the scissors all the way around, just leaving an edge. And on this side, I don't have to leave such an edge. It doesn't have to reach the other side. I just want to make sure that my edge does get to cover the corrugated, blah, blah, can't say it, cardboard inside there. And then there is no evidence of, you know, how the cardboard is, all that wavy stuff. It's just all hidden and nice. Cutting it all around. Okay, so this is my project. I'm so happy with it. So I just do the same thing, whatever's left over there. I made sure that the edge was just a bit shorter. Glue the whole edges in, down after that, and it works really well. And then I give them a bit of a dry, and yeah, that's what I do. So here I am drying it up a bit and as I'm holding it, I have it on low heat so I don't hurt myself. And here I am putting some gold on the edges. Gold! I had to do that. Put some gold on my edges and um, love that. And then you'll see the pictures at the end. And it's perfect because then you can take the little cup out, the little tube, and fill it up with water. Put it back in with a little single rose or whatever. I did put for the pictures. My granddaughter bought me um, some little fake flowers, and I've had them for years because her and her dad, and my son, went to the store and picked them up, and I just kept them always. And so I just used that as my model, that flower. And I think it's going to be really cute, and I'm loving it because I have vases that are just too big, too tall, and I like to have a single vase for a single flower when the kids pick one for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to check Nikki's links in the description below, and I'll have everything out at the end. Bye.